This is an introduction to a series of 13 videos about zero-gauge liner trains of the pre boom period between 1915 and 1942. Each of these videos presents a series of locos built during a defined period like the scale Hudson, built from 1937 to 42. I also present the new operating structures like the coal loader. Now I present you a series of videos of pre-war liner zero gauge locos in chronological order. In 1915, Lionel introduced its first zero gauge locos, the 700 series, modeled after the S2 electric loco, which was popular in New York, where Lionel Cohen started his company. This first video shows these models. I introduce each model with a catalog image, a display on a turntable, and subsequently in action on the layout. The layout is introduced in my first video, Classic Line and Trains in Action. Years later, in 1917, Leine introduced the 150 series of electric locos, which was in production until 1927. There are still models of the S2 electric loco built by Arco. In 1924, they introduced a variety of new models inspired by other original electric trains like the Milwaukee Road Bipolar Electric Locomotive built by General Electric. The 256 was the top model of that series. The addendum shows two more locos. The 4 was sold as a kit and the 450 was not catalogued since it was only sold by the department store Macy's. In 1930, Lionel introduced the first zero-gauge steam locomotive in sheath metal, like the previously produced electric locos. By then, Lionel sold its trains all over America, where steam locos were quite common. During the Great Depression, Lionel sales dropped and they introduced inexpensive models. This video shows these models equipped with electric motors, like the Tuner line. They even introduced clockwork trains, like shown in this video. Here they introduced their first Mickey Mouse figure, a short period of cooperation with Walt Disney. The Mickey Mouse handcar, introduced in 1934, was a great success and helped Lionel 
to survive the tough times, despite of that it only sold for one dollar. Watch the four different hand cars running under the Christmas tree. In the mid thirties, sales picked up again, and Lionel introduced new models that the diesel locomotives made between 1934 and 41. The most prominent one was the Union Pacific. Streamline locos became popular in the 1930s, and Lionel introduced some of these trains as new models in 1935, like the Pennsylvania Torpedo or the Hiawatha Express. In 1937, Lionel introduced the most spectacular loco ever produced by the company, the Scale Hudson, a highly detailed diecast model. They never again offered a model with that detailed position. One year after presenting the Hudson, Lionel induced a series of low-cost die-cast models. In the same year, Lionel introduced operating structures like a remote control train or co-loader. This video shows both. of Lionel Brewer trains with service of switches, also highly detailed. They had special operation features, like they could uncouple cars anywhere on the track. In 1942, Lionel stopped train production and helped to win the war.